Since the month July has begun, it's time for, you guessed it, a movie review, and I got a good one. Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl, and yes, it's an anniversary because it turned 20 years old. I know it's weird that I'm doing Pirates of the Caribbean review video while Finding Nemo, another one that turned 20 this year that didn't get a video. Well, keep in mind, I'm saving that for a future video. Pirates of the Caribbean was popular when it came out, and I wanted to do a video on it. So, let's begin. Johnny Deb plays Captain Jack Sparrow. He belonged to a group in which he used to lead with the pirates, but now he's led by Barbosa. But the pirates got too greedy and sold gold that apparently had a curse on it. Whenever the moonlight shines, they're revealed as dead skeletons who can't feel anything that happens to them. They try to get the curse lifted and they think the answer lies at Elizabeth, who is kidnapped and has to be saved by Will Turner, who is the reason to get the curse lifted. Along with Sparrow's help, they steal some ships, get into sword fights, canyon play, gun play, swinging around, and all that pirate's life stuff. I didn't watch this movie when it came out, and this could have easily been a great choice to watch in the theaters. Keep in mind, I was 8 years old at the time, and PG-13 was one of the ratings I wasn't ready, even though this makes no sense because I watched these movies before this movie. Plus, this is Disney's first PG-13 rated movie. I have to say, it's quite impressive for a movie that has violence, but at least I watched it a few years ago. It was a fun action-adventure film. Yeah, I can't go far to say it's one of the best. There's better action movies. Anyways, let's get to the characters. Johnny Depp playing Captain Jack Sparrow was a really good casting. His character's over the top, but he plays for the humor. And yeah, he was great playing the role. Jeffrey Rush, who I knew very little bit of the actor, was great playing Barbosa. Might be my favorite character in the movie. As for Orlando Bloom playing Will and Keira Knightley playing Elizabeth, they're okay. They're the straight people. Though Will is not interesting at times, but Elizabeth is not too bad. The action scenes are fun and even goofy at times, but I love it. I can't say it's the best action scene in the movie, but they're creative and good to watch. Same with the special effects, though the later sequels had good action scenes too. I love the idea that the pirates are skeletons while in the moonlight. It does remind me of Gargoyle's show in a way. Another good aspect of the movie is the comedy. Yeah, who knew a movie that's intense and serious can be really funny? It's jokes that fit in that time period. It's not in-jokes with current speak. The music score in the movie is fantastic. It's Hans Zimmer and his music scores are just perfect. Pirates is definitely one of the best movie scores. Plus, it was great that the movie is based off of the ride or attraction, which, by the way, that's my favorite attraction at Disneyland. Though, there are a few problems with the movie, and that is, there's too many winks at the audience for this film being Disney. Like, Governor Weatherby dresses up as Captain Hook at the beginning, Barbosa gives Elizabeth an apple, and there's a reference to The Little Mermaid. Yeah, these Disney jokes are getting a little out of hand, which it would have been nice if they had a reference to the ride. And yeah, it's not epic, but it wasn't supposed to be. It's a swashbuckling action film with great stunts, effects, and even laughs. But yeah, that's what I think of the movie. It's a good, fun action-adventure film, and yeah, the only good movie out of the series, which I'll get to the sequels in the future. And while it's not higher than Jurassic Park, Indiana Jones, Terminator, or any others, Pirates is a good action film. I would definitely see it a few times in the future. Now let's move on to the legacy. Pirates of the Caribbean is one of the most profitable franchises from Disney. Oh yeah, it's up there with Mickey Mouse, Winnie the Pooh, the Disney Princess, and then later on with these two. And that's why it's really profitable thanks to the Disney ride. It's also the third highest grossing movie in the US in 2003 behind Finding Nemo and Lord of the Rings The Return of the King, which is really great during when it came out. Shockingly, this movie got five nominations at the Academy Awards, and one of them was Johnny Depp for Best Actor. Like, that's amazing for him to get that category, let alone playing the iconic Captain Jack Sparrow. As for everything else, it's only got two nominated lists for 
American Film Institute, but not major as Jurassic Park or Raiders of the Lost Ark. Now the question is, will this movie get a national film registry soon? And my answer is, I highly doubt it could happen. If Iron Man made it, then the first Pirates movie can't happen. And it's definitely one of the more popular live-action Disney films, right up there with Mary Poppins. As for sequels, well, I will talk about them in the future. But not a lot of people care about the sequels. They just exist, and that's it. Yeah, it makes the first one a masterpiece. And just recently, this movie is getting re-released in theaters as of now, until July 20th. So if you can find a theaters, watch it, and you'll have a good time. Or just watch on Disney Plus streaming. That is all for the review of Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl. And for the 20th anniversary, which, happy 20th. Next video will be Top 10 List, which haven't done it in a while. I will see you all in the next video.